Never miss another fabulous cultural event in Cotacachi just because you can't speak Spanish. In other words, tells you everything you need to know about life in Cotacachi. And here is our host, Deborah May. Welcome to In Other Words, the only English language radio program in the Cotacachi area. This radio program has an educational mission, which is to facilitate the social and cultural integration of English speaking foreign residents with native residents. We do this by providing multicultural information as well as lessons in the primary languages of the region, Spanish and Quechua. I am your host, Deborah May. In today's Quechua language lesson, we're going to learn how to say parts of the body and the face in Quechua. Spanish teacher Kati Estreja also will teach us how to say basic conversational phrases in Spanish. And on every program around five after four, we have a special events announcement segment. It's called What's Going On? And that's when you can find out in English what cultural, recreational, and educational events are coming up in the Kotakachi area. These are events that usually are not published in English, but should be of interest to English-speaking listeners. In honor of Indie Raimi, today's music selections are Indie Raimi tunes from a band called Churai, whose members come from the indigenous communities of Kinchuki, Kinchuki, Peguche, and Agato. So today, our program's interview segment, which is called Something to Talk About, we have local Quechua cultural activists as my special guest in part two of a four-part series. And it's all about the celebration of Indie Raimi here in Cotacachi. In today's interview, Apauki Flores and Apak Perugachi will talk about the symbolic significance of the men's clothing during the taking of Matriz Square, why the celebration of Indie Raimi in Cotacachi is different than in neighboring cities and countries, some of the less visible traditions and rituals of Indi Raimi that are not celebrated in Matriz Park, but rather in the communities themselves. Why gender segregated dancers take the plaza on different days between June 24th and July 1st. And finally, just a little about Apak's book called Kutakachi Jaktapi Kichwa Raimi Kuna, or Kichwa Celebrations in the City of Kotakachi. The interviews are conducted in Spanish and English, thanks to volunteer expat translator Fred Hosea. So, without attending a public lecture or paying a penny, you have an opportunity to learn from local cultural experts, people who have celebrated and studied Hatun Punja for many years. They will talk about Indi Raimi's history, cultural significance, traditions, and great importance in the lives of indigenous people here in Ecuador's northern Andes. So the interview, the, the interview segment of our program begins around 4.30. In other words, stay tuned and enjoy the show. Find out about the local events in Kotakachi before they happen on What's Going On. So what's going on this week in the Kotakachi area? Well, any time between today and next Friday, June 22nd, you can catch the special photo exhibition uh, capturing images of resistance to mining company activities in the region. The exhibit is called Territorios Libres, or Free Territories, and it's being held at the Museo de las Culturas. Amicine is showing... Thousand Pieces of Gold, tomorrow at 2 p.m. The film is set in the 1880s. It's based on the true story about uh, the journey of a young Chinese woman who is sold by her impoverished family and transported against her will to a gold mining town in the American West. A $5 donation to support the work of Ami Fundacion is requested. The director of Ami Fundacion, Etienne Muen, will be my guest for this radio program's July 11 interview segment. So he's going to be right here and talking to you about Ami Fundacion. You might want to mark that on your calendar now. July 11th, the director of Ami Fundacion, Etienne Moyne. 
Shades of Grey are having a sock hop tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow evening. <laughs> that would be nice tomorrow morning. Tomorrow evening, starting at 5 p.m. at La Tola. I heard that the band plans to have great fun dressing up like greasers from the 1950s with slicked back hair, leather jackets, and tight, tight, tight pants. Their music will be phenomenal, as always. La Tola, tomorrow, starting at 5. On Sunday, June 17th, at 3 p.m., the Brazilian film The Boy and the World will be playing at Ami Cine Teatro as part of the June Children's Film Festival, sponsored in part by the uh, city of Cotacachi. This internationally acclaimed animated film has Spanish subtitles. It's $1 for children and $2 for adults. Ami Cine is located at Ami Fundacion, and most local taxistas do know how to get to the Ami Fundacion. On Monday, the local band Los Nin will be giving a free concert, free, at the Museo de las Culturas in Cotacachi at 6 o'clock p.m. It's part of Ecuador's tour sessions that's called uh, session, Sesiones de Gira. This is a project that promotes the music of Ecuador. Los Nin is a local alternative band that has won national and international recognition. And Radio, Radio Pública Cotacachi station manager Daniel Proaño is a member of the band Los Nin, so you definitely don't want to miss this free concert. And just a quick word of praise for Daniel. There is no way I could do this radio program without his highly professional assistance and support. Thank you, Daniel. And I look forward to attending your band's concert on Monday, 6 o'clock, Museo de las Culturas, and free. Okay, Loose Stitches. That's a free meeting of people who are interested in needlework. They meet every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock upstairs at La Cuadra Cafe, located in the La Cuadra Hostal near Matriz Park. The conversation is in English, but everyone is welcome. If you learn about a free cultural or educational event in the Cotacachi area, and you would like to let other English-speaking tourists and expats know about the event, please be generous. Share your news about the event with listeners by contacting this program. You can join the program's Facebook group page called In Other Words. Post your event there. I will announce it on the Friday radio program. Don't worry if the announcement's in Spanish or Quechua. I'll do my best to translate it into English, both on the Facebook page and on the air. People are still asking, when does Indie Raimi happen in Cotacachi this year? Well, the celebration of Indie Raimi began in the indigenous communities in May and will continue through July. Hatun Punja and the traditional taking of the square, Matriz Square, um, actually will begin on June 24th when the men come down from the communities, the 24th and 25th, then they rest for two days. They then return to take the square again, perhaps as early as the evening of June 28th. The men will dance in the square again, June 29th and June 30th. The women dance on July 1st. The children dance on June 22nd, sort of unofficially before the men uh, be begin the taking of the square on June 24th. So dances have been intentionally gender segregated for generations, but modern influences have modified this tradition. Many local residents, including expats, think of Indie Raimi as maybe a time of violence rather than celebration. But non-participants who want to observe this ancient indigenous celebration respectfully and safely should use the same common sense they would while attending a large public event in their own country. Just move away from any individual who appears to be intoxicated, carrying something that might cause injury, or if you see tensions building between groups or individuals. If you're walking on a street and you see a large group of men dancing to or from the communities, just step out aside, give them the entire street and sidewalk. Now, pickpockets from this area and other cities will be there to take advantage of any public gathering, so don't bring valuables or lots of cash with you. But really, it's a safe event. It's really incredible to watch. There's so much energy. Um, it's just an amazing event. We're really privileged to be able to witness it.
Okay, so that's what's going on. Let me tell you a little bit about La Quadra. We mentioned them as the place where loose stitches meet. Uh, several groups, in fact, will meet at La Quadra. And you will feel right at home at La Quadra's hostel and cafe, enjoying their relaxed and comfortable family atmosphere. The hotel is located in the center of Cotacachi, a Modesta Penherrera, just a half block from Matriz Park. To make reservations, you can call 06 Two nine one six zero one five. And now it's time to learn a few words in Quechua. Mama Urku and Apak Perugachi speak Quechua. Welcome to another episode of Kichwapi with Kichwa instructor Apak Perugachi. And today we're going to talk about some body parts and the face. So body and face today. And let's start with the word for foot. Chaki. Chaki. And you might remember from earlier lessons that chaki, chaki is one of the chants used during Indie Raimi. Uh, for, so foot is? Chaki. Leg is? Changa. 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 The word for hand is? Maki. 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 And maki uh, also is the word for the wrist and part of the arm. Is that correct? Yeah? Uh, maki, rigra. Okay. So it, it includes the elbow. Rigra también. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the word for hand Maki actually includes most of the arm past the, the elbow. That's very interesting. So the word for face is? Nyawi. 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 And the eyes are? Nyawi lulun. Okay, this is, I love this word because lulun means eggs, egg in Quechua. So these are the eggs of the face or the? Nyawi lulun. I love it. I love it. Okay, a nose is? Singa, singa. Mouth is? Shimi. 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 And shimi in Quechua also means words or language uh, as well as the mouth. So it has, shimi has several meanings. But when you're talking about a mouth on a face, you definitely want to say? Shimi. Hair is? Akcha. Akcha. A tooth is? Kiru. So, do we have teeth kirukuna or solo kiru? Kirukuna. Okay, so teeth would be kirukuna, which is the plural, but a one tooth would be kiru. Kiru. A finger is? Ruka. Ruka. Long is? Suni. So, if we want to say someone has long hair, we would say? Suni akcha. Suni Akcha. Let's say that we want to say she has long hair. She has long hair. Um, so to say that would be Paika Suni Akcha Tami Chari. So you heard the word Suni, which is long, Akcha, which is hair. Charin simply means to have, and Paika would be she. So all together to say she has long hair would be Paika Suni Akchatami Charin. Okay, great. Um, we remember from our previous lesson that Yana is black. So to say someone has black hair, um, we would say Yana Akcha. Yana Akcha. He has black hair would be? Paika Yana Akchatami Charin. So you heard the word Akcha in that sentence. That means hair. You heard Yana, which means black. One more time, she or he has black hair. Paika Yana Akchatami Charin. Okay. The color blue we might remember is Ankas. To say someone has blue eyes would be? Ankas nyawi lulung. Oh, one more time, please. Ankas nyawi lulung. Okay, so if we're going to say he has blue eyes, we would say. Paika ankas nyawi lulung dami chari. Okay, it sounds like an awful lot of words, but he's basically just saying he has blue eyes. Paika is he, ankas is blue, nyawi lulung is eyes, 
and charin is to have. So he, it literally in English would translate as he, blue eyes, has, but in Quechua it is Paika, Ancas, Nyawi, Luluntami, Charin. Okay, very good. So uh, thank you, Apak, so much for coming in and giving us another lesson in Quechua, and we'll see you next week on Kichwapi Yupaychani. Yupaychani. Find us at www.radiopublicacotacachi.com. Okay, so Apak Perugachi offers classes and private tutoring in the Quechua language right here in Cotacachi to people who speak at least intermediate Spanish. So if you speak Spanish and you want to learn how to talk with your Quechua neighbors in Quechua, you can call APAC at 098-085-1887. Be sure to come back next Friday at 4 for the next Quechuapi lesson when APAC will teach us a little about how those very, very long words in Quechua are constructed on Quechuapi, where English speakers are introduced to the Runashimi, the language of the indigenous people of the northern Andes. Okay, here's a word from our sponsor. Yannick wants to remind us that at Pandela, he has delicious whole grain, healthy, sourdough, natural, seeded, creative, tasty, and handmade breads. Find Pandela Kotakachi on Facebook or call Yannick at 099-36-82314. Pandela, because life is better while eating. Now, here is some exhilarating indie rhymy music from Churai. This is a local band from the Peguchi area. <laughs> Listening to In Other Words.
Get to know your neighbors with total Spanish immersion. Vamos. Here is our number, 2915146. In other words, give us a call. Welcome once again to Katy Estrella, our Spanish teacher. Katy uh, also teaches classes and does private tutoring with students near Parque San Francisco at her Pucara Spanish School. Welcome, Katy. And today our lesson is going to be about a huge difference between English and Spanish. And that is we often say that we <coughs> are something We'll talk about examples in a moment. We are something, but in Spanish we say uh, we have something. One example right away would be uh, I am hungry. I am hungry uh, would be uh, different in Spanish to say I am hungry is tener hambre. Tener hambre. Okay, so she is saying I have hunger. I have hunger. In English I say I am hungry. In Spanish we say I have hunger or tengo hambre. Mm -hmm. Tengo hambre. Tener hambre, tengo hambre. Okay. Uh, Another example would be uh, to be thirsty. And in English, I would say, I am thirsty. I am thirsty. But in Spanish, we say, Tener sed, tengo sed. So, tengo sed is, I am thirsty. Literally, it's translated as, I have thirst. I have thirst. So we have hunger, we have thirst, where in English, I am hungry, I am thirsty. So big difference. Let's do another example, which would be, I am hot, I am hot. Tener calor, ejemplo, tengo calor. Okay, so she's saying, I have heat. (laughs) And we wouldn't say that in English. We don't say, I have heat. We say, I am hot. But uh, tengo calor means, I have heat or I am hot. Por favor. Tener calor, ejemplo, tengo calor. Okay, so she's just told me she's hot. And the same thing would be true with, with being cold. In English, I would say, I am cold. But in Spanish, we say, I have cold, which would be, Tener frío, tengo frío. So, Katy just said to me, tengo frío, which means, in English, I'm cold. But in Spanish, it means literally, I have cold. I have cold. Another example would be, I am in a hurry. I'm in a rush. Uh, But in Spanish, Tener prisa. O, ejemplo, Tengo prisa. So she just told me, I have hurriness. <laughs> I have rushedness. <laughs> but in, in English, of course, we would say, I am in a hurry. I am rushed. One more time. Tener prisa. Ejemplo, tengo prisa. Okay. Another really important one that you'll be using often when you speak Spanish is to have years. In English, we say, I am 60 years old. I am. It's a state of being. I am 60 years old. But in Spanish, no, 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 we have years. And can you explain that? En español, usamos el verbo tener. Tengo 45 años. So she is saying literally, I have 45 years. I have 45 years. Um, so let's do a little practice. Um, Katy, ¿tienes hambre? Sí, tengo hambre. So I asked her, do you have hunger? And she responded, yes, I have hunger. ¿Tienes sed? Uh, so she just asked me, am I thirsty? Uh, sí, tengo sed. Yes, I have thirst. ¿Tienes color, Katy? Calor. Tienes calor. Tienes calor. Sí, tengo calor. Okay, she just pr- pr- uh, corrected my pronunciation, which is why I am not speaking Spanish uh, or teaching Spanish, but Katy is. One more time, can you say that? Tengo calor. Tengo calor. Uh, and she's saying, I have heat. And in English, we would say, I'm hot. I am hot. Uh, ¿Tienes frío? No, no tengo frío. Ah, so I asked her, do you have cold? And she responded, no, I don't have cold. And of course, in English, we would say, no, I'm not cold. I'm not cold. 
Repito, Débora. Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. I am hungry. Tengo sed. Tengo sed. I am thirsty. Tengo calor. Uh, tengo color. I am hot. Tengo calor. Tengo calor. I am hot. Tengo frío. Tengo frío. I am cold. Tengo prisa. Tengo prisa. I'm in a hurry. Tengo 45 años. Tengo 45 años. I am 45 years old. Okay, so today we learned the difference between to have and to be in Spanish and in English. And just remember, we have hunger, we have thirst, we have heat, we have cold, we have uh, rushedness, and we have years. And we don't say, I am these things. So thank you very much, Katy, for coming in again for another Spanish lesson. And we'll talk again next week. Hasta pronto, Débora. Con hasta, mucho gusto. Uh, hasta pronto. So Katy Estrella is an experienced Spanish teacher with over 20 years of teaching experience in Europe and Ecuador. Her popular Pucara Spanish school just outside Atovalo is a lovely bed and breakfast inn for her Spanish students seeking a full immersion experience. So uh, we are going to take a break for a few minutes, but we will be right back with something to talk about when we will be interviewing Apauki Flores and Apac Perugache, local Quichua cultural activists who are going to talk with us about the celebration of Indiraimi in Cotacachi. And we're back with Deborah May on In Other Words. I just wanted to remind you, you can find links to all of our teachers, interview guests, and sponsors on our Facebook group page, In Other Words. One of those sponsors is Prana, Vital Energy, offering local organic produce, nuts, oils, wine, books, and much more. They're located on the corner of 9 of October or Nueve de Octubre and Roca Fuerte. And Prana invites you to browse their shop on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Now it's time for part two of our four-part Indie Rhyme interview series. Listen to the special people who define Kodakachi here in Something to Talk About. Welcome to the interview segment of In Other Words. We call this Something to Talk About, and uh, this week we're going to be talking again with uh, Pauki Flores and Apak Perugachi about Indi Raimi in, in Kotakachi. Many English-speaking foreigners think of Indi Raimi as a festive tourist event to generate income for the community, but the indigenous people of the Andes have been celebrating Indi Raimi for centuries, long before the Spanish arrived 500 years ago, and long, long before expats settled in the area. So uh, we also have Fred Hosea interpreting for us. Thank you, Fred. And I want to welcome Apaki Flores from Uyandes and uh, Apak Perugachi is from Morales Chupa and is a member of Tinkunakwe. So this week we're going to be talking about Kotakachi specific traditions of Indi Raimi. Uh, first, Apak, can you please tell our listeners something about the book you co-authored called Kutakachi Jaktapi Kichwa Ramikuna? Eh, sí, eh, este libro eh, escribimos conjuntamente con, con un compañero, eh, Aragui Ruiz. Um, this book was written uh, in conjunction with my co colleague, eh, es historiador. who's a historian. Vimos la necesidad de plasmar en un papel, digamos, porque nuestra cultura siempre ha sido una cultura oral. Uh, we saw a need to uh, narrate this, uh, these facts, this tradition, this history uh, in, in a book form uh, because our, our culture has been uh, predominantly oral. Eh, como recuerdo siempre, como decía una abuela, cuando antes no sabíamos leer, escribir o hablar la lengua de... Mm -hmm. 
eh, castellana, nos daban leyendo, escribiendo, nos daban hablando. Y recuerdo muy claro cuando me dijo, ahora que sabes leer, sabes escribir y sabes hablar la lengua, <risa> es hora de contar tu propia historia. Uh -huh. Grandmother, she didn't really know how to read or write or speak Spanish, but now that her descendants do read and write and speak Spanish, that it's time to uh, put the oral tradition into written form. Este libro eh, es una recopilación de la memoria oral de varias comunidades. This is this book is the a compilation of oral memories and recollections from various communities. Y también de la parte académica también. And also has an academic part. Donde está eh, dividido prácticamente el libro está dividido en cuatro partes que son las cuatro celebraciones más importantes de los quichua. Mm -hmm. So the book is divided into four parts, which represent the four celebrations. Si ustedes desean, pueden adquirir, o también ella mismo sale la, el libro en inglés. Entonces, ya, so, ya estará a, a la venta al público también. Yeah. So the book is already on sale to the public in Spanish and will soon be available in English translation. Yeah, I just want to mention and thank uh, Pachi Lopez has put in uh, many, many hours doing translation of this book into English uh, for the English language audience that really wants to better understand Indy Raimi and the other four Raimis and the Quechua culture and people here. Um, so can you describe Indy Raimi as it is celebrated in the communities throughout the month of June? Mm -hmm. Puedes describir uh, el Inti Raimi cómo se celebra en las comunidades durante todo el mes de junio. El Inti Raimi eh, es una celebración que no necesita, digamos, de una estructura o de un cabildo, sino se da por sí solo la comunidad, eh, la gente, los niños esperan mm -hmm. este. Yeah. So, uh, Inti Raimi is not something that is uh, organized tightly by a planning group, a single planning group, and coordinated. It's, it has lots of spontaneous aspects to it that are self-organized in the communities, and the children very much look forward to it. Es un espacio donde, digamos, el maíz ya se está secando, entonces empieza lo que es la temporada de verano. La música de la flauta, el churro, te despierta el corazón. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's a time when uh, the corn is drying out, the music and the dance and the flutes and uh, churros, that I think, churros son los que, churros son caracoles, yeah, the, uh, the conch shells, moving um, experiences for the community. Cada familia, eh, cada núcleo familiar, digamos, el Aiju, se prepara y la comunidad por sí sola la celebración se da. So each family and community uh, prepares in its own way. Y en muchas comunidades empieza ya desde mayo el ejemplo de Calera. Mm -hmm. Los días viernes van bailando de casa en casa. Y es una preparación que no es solo junio, es mayo, junio, mm -hmm. y termina en julio yeah. con el hat del Día de las Mujeres. Yeah. So it's a, it's a three-month long series of events uh, in Calera, for example, Uh, every Friday, uh, people go dancing from house to house to house, and there are different traditions in different communities. So, what are uh, other traditions and rituals of Indi Raimi in the communities? Entonces, ¿cuáles son otras tradiciones y rituales de Indi Raimi en las comunidades? Eh, sí, eh, un ritual, no, bueno, un ritual que, que mi padre me, me comentaba cuando él salía a bailar, no, de que antes que él se ponga el zamarro, no. Eh, en este caso, mi abuelita hacía un ritual. Sí, él daba semillas, ¿no? Semillas de maíz, sí, y semillas de frijol para que estos, estas semillas le acompañen. Y él recuerde, ¿no es cierto?, que él tiene una familia, que se cuide, que, que regrese, ¿no?, a la comunidad. Abuelita, when his father would go out before he would put on the samaro, the, the uh, chaps that they wear uh, to go dancing, grandmother would get corn and beans, encouragement to think about the family. As they entered the dance. Sí, otro ritual tenemos y creo que desde ahí empieza el baño ritual, sí. Yes. Eh, en este caso de, de despojarse de las de las malas energías y adquirir no las. So las another energías. one is the uh, ritual bath, uh, which is done to uh, cleanse the person from bad uh, bad energy. Can you describe a ritual bath? What happens mm -hmm. during a ritual pues bath? Puedes describir un baño ritual, por favor. Eh, sí, bueno, eh, en, en este caso nos hemos bañado en, en, en las vertientes, ¿no? Entonces, They used no. to bathe in uh, springs. 
si sí, vamos, ¿no es cierto? Vamos, de, vamos con, en, en un grupo con música, si sí, vamos bailando. They go dancing uh, with uh, friends and family. Sí, y, y nos dirigimos ¿no? entonces. With music. Mm -hmm. eh, nos introducimos ¿no? a, la, a la vertiente sin, sin ropa, ¿no? We would sin go, ropa. go into the spring uh, without clothes. Siempre respetando, ¿no? Pidiendo permiso. Sí, uh, uh, showing uh, respect, uh, asking permission. Sí, y en este caso, si es que hay, ¿no? Un, un taita, una mama muy hacha que se prepara un ritual, ¿no? Mm -hmm. So the uh, mama or papa yachak would prepare the ritual. Mm -hmm. Okay, a yachak, I know a lot of English-speaking people think of yachas as shaman, but the word here uh, would be yachak. Um, do you want to add anything to the ritual yes, bath uh, uh, description? Para nosotros la, la pregunta que siempre... Nace es, ¿por qué hacemos el baño ritual? Como la física, se podría decir que la energía no se crea ni se destruye. So, from a physics standpoint, we know that uh, energy is neither uh, destroyed nor created. Este principio, los abuelos ya lo sabían. This principle, the, uh, our elders already knew. Todas las personas manejamos energías. All of us as people manage energy. El agua, el agua es considerado como la, la sangre de la madre tierra. Water is considered as the blood of Mother Earth. Entonces, bañarte, digamos, en estos puntos específicos o en, este, en estas fechas específicas como equinoccios y solsticios es solamente para renovar tus energías, sacar las malas energías mm -hmm. y cargarte de nuevas buenas energías. So, to, uh, to bathe uh, during these equinoxes and solsticios, uh, solstices uh, is a form of uh, removing bad energies and uh, restoring good energies. Sí, como decía Pag, en este caso, cuando eh, se realiza, ¿no es cierto?, el, el, el baño ritual, uno se carga de energías, ¿no? Después hay, hay otro ritual, ¿no? La so, pelea ritual. So, uh, in, the, in the ritual baths, you're, uh, in a sense, charging yourself up with positive energies. Uh, then there's another uh, rite or ritual del qué? La pelea ritual. The uh, ritual fight or battle. Sí, entonces, ¿qué, qué sucede? ¿Por qué la pelea ritual? Sí. So, the, we ask, well, why in the world is there a ritual fight? Eh, en este caso, la pelea ritual eh, es un espacio, ¿no? Eh, se da un espacio eh, especial que es aquí en este sitio ceremonial, ¿no? So it takes place in a special ceremonial site. Estamos hablando de donde está la iglesia y el parque la matriz. And at where the church and the uh, matriz park are located. Sí, se da en este caso para para que el cuerpo no vuelva a la a la normalidad. Como el cuerpo está cargado de energías, no es importante que el cuerpo también esa esa energía uh, bote, no a través de la del enfrentamiento ritual. Mm. So, uh, the, after the ritual bath, the body is uh, sort of uh, hypercharged, and the uh, ritual fight or battle is a way of discharging this excess energy. Un maestro me decía que se necesitan como cinco años de cátedra para entender el, el interraymi, ¿no? Uh, sí. A teacher of his said that uh, one needs five years of uh, instruction in order to understand. Well, we have a total of <laughs> one hour if we put all four of our interview segments together. But there uh, are books like uh, Apak's book, Kutakachi Jaktapi Kichwa Ramikuna, which means uh, the Kichwa celebrations in Kotakachi specifically. So we don't have five years. I imagine it. Probably would take more than five years. We just have an hour total. You are listening to In Other Words. Okay, we're going to take a quick break from, and to hear some more music from the celebration of Indy Raimi with the band from Peguche called Churai.
are back. I am interviewing Apauki Flores and Apak Perugachi, local Quechua cultural activists who are talking about the celebration of Indi Raimi in Kotakachi. Um, let me ask you a little bit about, oh, well, actually, this is a great segue. Why do the men specifically in Kotakachi take the square four days? There's uh, two days where the men take the square, then they rest, then they come back for two days. What is the taking of the square mm-hmm. about? This is very important. Entonces, ¿por qué los hombres en Cotacachi toman la plaza por cuatro días? ¿Qué es el significado de esa toma de plaza? Como ya habíamos visto, en el año están divididos en, digamos, dos, mm-hmm. sí, dos equinoccios mm-hmm. y dos solsticios. So we've seen that the year is divided into uh, four parts, the two solsticios. Eh, los two equinoccios equinoxios. hacen referencia en septiembre a Coya Raimi mm-hmm. y en marzo a Pauca Raimi, que Coya es, sería como la reina, uh-huh. y Pauca Raimi es las niustas, las princesas. So, uh, um, September uh, uh, corresponds to uh, Coya Ra- Raimi, que es, sería es de, los... Ajá, de las mujeres, los equinoccios. Ok, that's, uh, that's the uh, women's. Pauca Raimi. Y Pauca Raimi que sea las niustas. Ajá, uh-huh. las niustas. Es de las niustas, the, the sort of young princesses. Ajá, las princesas. Las, uh-huh. Y tenemos en diciembre, que es el Capac Raimi, uh-huh. y es Inti Raimi. And then Inti Raimi is in June. ¿Y Capac Raimi es de qué? Eh, para los líderes, sí. So it's a time when there are uh, leadership transitions in the communities. Those are celebrated uh-huh. in Capac Raimi with the tra- handing off of the bastón de mando, the uh-huh. uh, scepters of authority. Entonces, el Inti Raimi se podría ver como una energía masculina, pero nosotros no podemos vivir solo con la energía masculina. Es por eso que después de cuatro días, uh-huh. cierra con la energía femenina, que es el Warmi Puncha. Ok, so the four days of taking the plaza correspond to the four Raimis throughout the year. So, each day represents one of the Raimis in a condensed form. And then at the end, rounded off or balanced out by having the women end uh, with the women's dance. And the women's dance is the last dance on July 1st, mm-hmm. hence the it's end the, of the celebration. Sí, eh, las mujeres cierran de, de alguna manera el círculo. Mm-hmm. So the women uh, close the circle. Porque de ahí empieza el tiempo de las mujeres, que es Koya Raimi, que es el tiempo de la, de la reina señora. So, uh, at that time, then, that begins the cycle of the, of the Koya Raimi, which is the women's celebratory period. Okay. I know my listeners want to know, why do you come from the communities and go to Matri Square specifically and stay there and dance and occupy that square? Mm-hmm. Why? Entonces, ¿por qué es que ustedes vienen de las comunidades para tomar esta plaza? Yeah. Hay varias plazas acá. ¿no? <laughs> sí, no, le, le escuchaba a un, a un compañero, ¿no? Eh, Lenin Alvear. Él, él hablaba de que en este caso, donde está ubicada la, la iglesia, ¿no? Decía, ahí fue una tola, ¿no? So one colleague says that the, where the cathedral is, where there used to be a tola or sacred hill or mound. Entonces ese sitio él decía que tiene algunos cientos de años, no posiblemente mil años. So they think that it may be a thousand years old. Sí, ahora por qué no bailamos, no, en el parque ornamental o en el parque San Francisco. So some might ask why do we don't dance in other places. Simplemente porque no son sitios sagrados, no, no son sitios. They're not sacred places. Sí. En cambio aquí es, es un sitio energizante, no, en este caso cósmico que de alguna manera tiene una energía especial, no. Mm-hmm. So it has a uh, uh, sort of cosmic uh, energy to it, uh, uh, an energizing quality. Digamos que es el centro religioso, el centro político, el centro social, no, de la mm-hmm. de la ciudad y el cantón. Mm-hmm. So it's it's the, the political, social, and religious center of the canton. Sí, entonces el Inti Raimi, al ser una celebración que irradia poder y, y energía, entonces nos tomamos de esos sitios, ¿no? Mm-hmm. So que we don't... take these sites so uh, to radiate power y energía. Yeah, uh, uh, power and energy. Con esto termino, ¿no? Decía Raúl Ceballos, el antropólogo, ¿no? Él, él decía que en este sitio de, del Parque La Matriz hay, hay un gas ¿no? que se llama Randix. Sí, entonces él dice que emana, ¿no es cierto?, un gas. 
y tal vez es, ese gas es Randex que, que sale ¿no? en, en, en ese tiempo y, y es por eso que también eh, confluye mucha energía tanto en las personas y tanto como en el lugar. So uh, Raúl Ceballos says that uh, this is a place that also has mm -hmm. some kind of uh, gas that emanates from the earth and that this mm -hmm. adds to the energetic quality of the location. So we talk about uh, the men dancing or the people dancing in, in the square and dancing from the communities. Um, for most of our English-speaking audience, dancing is very different than what you do. Can you explain what the dance is, uh, what it means to you, why you dance the way you do? Uh, para los extranjeros, tenemos un sentido diferente de, la, de bailar, que es bien diferente de lo que hacen en Itinami. Entonces, ustedes pueden explicar qué es el significado de música y bailes. Sí, la, la danza que nosotros hacemos, primeramente, es una danza guerrera, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Es una danza guerrera. So, the dance that we do is primarily a warrior dance. Pero también es una danza guerrera que hace representación a los movimientos de la tierra a través del sol. But it also represents the movement uh, of the earth in relationship to the sun. Eh, digamos, la música, el que está en la mitad, eh, ya sea con la flauta, el churro, el rondín, mm -hmm. sería como el sol, el que da energía, porque sin música, la danza guerrera no se puede dar. So, the music energizes the festival in a similar way to the way the sun energizes the people. Sí, algunos estudiosos, ¿no? Algunos académicos, sobre todo, los que un poco han estudiado música, dicen que la música es, eh, es algo monótono, ¿no? Es decir, que es el mismo ritmo, dicen ellos, ¿no? Entonces, claro, no es el, es el mismo ritmo, pero este ritmo, ¿no? Es, eh, es algo especial, ¿no? Es por eso que cuando estamos en una fiesta... Sí, eh, cuando escuchamos un, una, una música, ¿no es cierto?, empezamos a inconscientemente a estar moviéndonos, ¿no? Sí, entonces es porque esta, esta música activa, ¿no es cierto?, o tiene unas ondas que se llama alfa, ¿no?, alfa y que de alguna manera llega a nuestro cerebro y, y nos activa. So, some people uh, consider this music to be monotonous, boring. Uh, but uh, for, for them, it has uh, its, its energy and that all they have to do is hear a certain rhythm uh, and they start tapping their feet. And uh, they believe that this is uh, related to alpha waves in the brain, that somehow the, these, these rhythms uh, activate those energies in the brain. Okay, so we're about out of time, but I do want to give each of the presenters a chance to talk a little bit about the work they're doing so that our listeners who want to support them can certainly do so by going to the Makipurai Kotakachi Volunteer Center Facebook page. I'll start with Apa. Can you tell us a little bit about the work that you're doing in the community? Nosotros estamos eh, como la, la comunidad Morales Chupa. Queremos fortalecer lo que es la, la cosmovisión, la cultura y en sí la lengua quichua. Estamos tratando de hacer un proyecto que se llama los Atiguambracuna. Atiguambracuna es para, okay. para formar a los niños. En la um, Morales Chupa community, they have a project that is dedicated to strengthening the, the cosmovision and language and uh, cultural awareness, uh, particularly among children. Y también, por otro lado, pertenezco a la, a la organización Tinkunakui, y también eh, con un compañero hemos escrito lo que es el libro eh, Kotakachi Chaktapikicho Raimikuna, que de alguna manera recopila los, eh, la memoria oral de las diferentes comunidades, de los abuelos y abuelas, y donde está dividido en cuatro secciones, que son las cuatro celebraciones más importantes de los quichuas. So he's also a member of Tinkunakui, and they have written a book, uh, which is a compilation of oral uh, memories and history about uh, the four Raimis. Y agradecer de manera especial a Pachi, un gran amigo, y también que te está dando todo su tiempo para traducir a la a la lengua inglesa. Entonces, el libro ya mismo en inglés. Yeah. Uh, so, he wants to give out a special thanks uh, to Pachi, who's helping translate this into English. 
Also on the Kotakachi Volunteer Center, Maki Purai page, there's an opportunity to contact APAC for donations for printing of the book. We've already raised uh, some money on that, but we need more for to print his book in English. Apaki, can you tell us about your work? Sí, bueno, eh, como decía, ¿no es cierto?, cuando terminamos la universidad y algunos, ¿no es cierto?, quieren buscar trabajo, ¿no?, cuando nos vamos a alguna institución pública o privada, nos piden experiencia, ¿no?, so when tres we, años. When we graduate, young people graduate from university and we're looking for work, typically um, they ask us if we have any experience. Sí, entonces... Nos piden experiencia, pero nosotros no salimos trabajando, ¿no? Salimos estudiando. Entonces, para eso es Yuyandes, ¿no? Yuyandes es, es una estrategia, ¿no? Para, para profesionales y no profesionales, para que ven adquirir experiencia y no buscar trabajo, ¿no? Sino que de alguna manera generar trabajo. So, it's a way for people who, are, who want to get experience to work with the professional members of the group to get uh, experience. Yuyandis is also a member organization of Maki Purai, the Kotakachi Volunteer Center. So we will be back next week to talk about more specifics about the Indi Rami celebration in Kotakachi, the dates uh, when different things will be happening that you'll want to know about. So thank you to Apauki, thank you Fred for interpreting, thank you Apak for your contributions as well. Check out our Facebook group page for In Other Words, with links to all our teachers, guests, and sponsors. Okay, be sure to tune in next Friday and the following Friday for more from Apaka Napauki about Indie Raimi. Quick word from our sponsor, Wolf Puppy. Did you know Wolf Puppy Dog Grooming and Pet Shop of Kotakati bathes and grooms your dog so he looks great and feels great too? Visit them on their Facebook page, Wolf Puppy. That's W-O-O-F, Wolf Puppy. Kalua Coffee and Tea. Kalua has great coffee from Intag, but what they do best is sandwiches, all served on fresh baguettes. They're on the corner of Pedro Mancayo and Leather Street, open seven days a week, breakfast starting at nine. So thank you for listening this week to another episode of In Other Words. If you want to get in touch with any of our language teachers, guests, or sponsors, you can go to our In Other Words program page on Radio Publica's Kotakachi's website or join our Facebook group with the same name, In Other Words. Thank you for joining me for another episode of In Other Words. We'll talk to you again next Friday at 4. Hasta viernes, chasca punjakama. Thank you. Gracias. Yupai chani mashikuna. Thank you for listening to our program. In other words, we'll see you again next Friday at the same time, 4 p.m. on Radio Pública Cotacachi. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are our